Hello YouTube, Stillborn86 here with a, with a very, very quick um, Linux video. Um, I guess this is going to be specific to Arch Linux. Um, more so because of what Arch Linux is. So, quick little bit, bit of background. Um, a lot of you probably already know or have heard people reference Arch as being the cutting edge of technology. Uh, what people mean by that is the way the Pac-Man repository system works is when packages are released or updated they essentially go straight to the Pac-Man repository. Distros such as Ubuntu or Linux Mint or Elementary OS or Debian or Fedora they go through an extensive testing cycle to make sure they don't conflict with other packages to make sure they're very stable with the operating system and so on and so forth. Pac-Man just there there is a testing system but it's very brief and it's essentially to make sure that there nothing is going to damage your system. There is no guarantee that your packages are going to um, work with the other packages on your system. There's no guarantee that there won't be conflicts um, and so on and so forth. Um, and if there are, it, it's up to you as the user to remedy that. And I'm going to show you how to do that. This is also not just for broken packages, but for packages that, um, uh, what, what am I thinking of? That, 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 that uh, I guess if, that you don't like. And I'm going to actually show, show that to you here um, with a package that I don't like. So um, I'm actually going to start up Chromium. I, I do use Chromium a lot, um, as you've seen in my previous videos. Um, as a lot of you probably know, there's a profile um, button in the top right hand corner of Chromium these days. And there used to be a flag that used to be able to get rid of it. Um, Google has disabled the flag so you can't use that. But you can use a command line flag, uh, disable new avatar menu, to get rid of that. Um, and that used to work until today. And as you can see, my uh, my button right here is, is still there even though I passed the disable avatar menu flag. Um, you used to be able to go into Chromium uh, Chrome flags right here and there was a profile menu that you can see is disabled but it's still up there so Google has decided to ignore this setting this user setting and it has decided to ignore this user flag here and uh, personally I don't like that um, the, I, this just happened to me um, I see that I'm running version 47.0 so since we're on Arch we are going to look at the Pac-Man logs so we'll ca well actually let's vim uh, we'll vim var logs uh, pacman log and this is essentially um, it's not everything, but it's it's you know the most recent you uh, entries to your Pac-Man log, things that have been installed, things that have been updated, things that have been removed. Everything you've done with Pac-Man is stored here in this log. So we're going to do a slash and we're going to look up Chromium. Uh, da -da -da -da. So this one here, as you can see, happened at the end of October. Um, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for something a little bit later. 10 2, 10 3. So here we are. We have. I actually downgraded and then I re upgraded here. So we went from 40, version 46 to 47 so that I can show you how this works. Um, the, this, uh, this right here, it, you know, just a few minutes ago is where we upgraded from version 46 to 47 which disabled my flag so essentially now I'm stuck with this avatar menu that I don't want so what we're gonna do is we're gonna quit out of that and we're going to change directory into var um, cache uh, it's pacman and then package and this folder is full of your pacman cache 
and what that is is every time you download a, an application and it updates every time you download an application it saves a copy of the package from the repository on your local machine every time it updates it saves the old version and the new version from the repository to your local machine so what I can do here is I can um, I, I can sudo pacman dash capital U to install from the machine and I can say I want to install chromium and if I hit here it shows you that I have chromium 46 and I have chromium 47 this was this was the version that I had on my computer this is the version that it downloaded both of these tarballs are located in my pacman cache now if you have a problem let's let's say chromium downloaded it it, up, it downloaded an update and the update crashed my computer something's wrong and I want to roll back to a previous version of chromium like I'm about to do what I'll do is I'll go to this folder pacman dash capital U and I'll select the one that I want to roll back to again right here I'm in version 47 I want to go back to version 46 when I hit enter it's gonna ask for a password and it's gonna tell me that I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to uh, upgrade it actually is it, I'm gonna downgrade but it, it's the same process for upgrading and we're going to downgrade from an old version 47 to a new version 46 I know that doesn't make much sense but I, I'm, I'm going from 47 to 46 is what I'm doing uh, do I want to proceed with the installation yes and it'll take a very take a second here to do its thing we'll kill all chromium and now when we pass the flag to disable the new avatar menu it should be gone so again that, that was a very quick video I hope um, I hope it helps some of you out there um, again that this this is this is primarily a tool and um, a strategy for broken packages you know if you download the new you know if, if Thunar updates and it starts crashing your system or if your display driver is update and your screen goes you know, really wonky you would boot into a command line terminal and you would use this process here to downgrade back to what you had to the last stable version and, and until somebody can fix the new version and um, you know if we pacman uh, sudo it will tell us here that there's still an update now I'm on 46 it wants to upgrade to 47 because that is available I'm actually probably not gonna do that I'm gonna wait until 48 comes out and maybe Google will you know get their act together and let me disable that button without sticking with 46 but until they do I'm just gonna stay with 46 um, so yeah again you can use this for multiple things primarily for broken packages or conflicting packages um, but you can use it for things that you know that that aren't broken but have been intentionally broken by the by the by the programmers like I just did so I don't want to waste too much of your time I did want to keep this video short um, I'm actually gonna hit no here because I do not want to do that um, I I hope you all are able to use this uh, to the best of your ability, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Stillborn86, out.